Hey, hey everybody and welcome. I've got a kettlebell oh, workout for you guys today. Uh, there's one move we're gonna do on the floor, so you may want a mat or a towel handy. Otherwise, the rest of these are gonna be standing up. The moves that we're doing today with the kettlebell are considered um, beginner moves. So if you're just starting out or if you don't even have one of these, you're using a dumbbell at home, don't worry, I got you. These are all considered like beginner intro level moves today. First two moves we're gonna do are little warm-up moves. First one is called the slingshot. So grab your kettlebell by the handle. You're gonna go behind and forward. Behind and forward. We're gonna do 10 one way and then 10 the other way. Nice little warm up, right? Okay. One, two. Make sure you engage that core. It should be tight. And 10. Let's switch it and go the other way. Here we go. One, two. Make sure that core is tight. Everybody having a great day so far? Hope so. Nine and 10. Great. Let's move on to the next warm up move. They're called Good Mornings. If you know me, I'm obnoxiously a morning person. So make sure you have a nice grip on the handle up here like this. Straight back, straight legs, and you're just gonna bend over. And say, good morning. Not too hard, right? Save your exhale for when you stand up. So inhale when you go over, exhale when you come up. What was that, 11? I think so. We're doing 15 of these. 14 and 15. Forgot to say that in the beginning, sorry. All right, good warm up. The move that we're about to do um, is called the clean. Very common move with the kettlebell. Nice firm grip on the handle. You're gonna bend at your hips and your knees. You're gonna go down like a squat, and then you're gonna bring it back up, up here to your shoulder. Go down and up. We're gonna do 15 on each side, all right? You ready? Down, up. If it hits the ground a couple times, that's okay. You gotta figure out where you're at. <laughs> Feeling that? Two more. One more. Great job. Other side. Nice firm grip on the handle. Bend from your hips and your knees. If your kettlebell taps the floor, that's okay. It's no big deal. I'm just trying not to be noisy. Again, make sure you're exhaling when you stand up. Three more. Two more. Last one. Great job. Next move is called the goblet squat. Sounds a little intimidating, but all you really need to do is flip that kettlebell over. Get your feet shoulder width apart at least, if not a little bit more. You're gonna go down first, squat, and then you come up. When you come up, make sure you are engaging those glutes. Really squeeze when you come up. Also exhale when you come up. Inhale on the way down, exhale on your way up. We're gonna do 15, you ready? One, squeeze those glutes. Weight on your heels. Woo! 
Five more. Ooh, it's burning. Three. Two. And one. Woo! Nice work. Next move we have is the thruster. What you're going to do, nice firm grip on the handle. You're going to come down with the kettlebell close to your chin. And then you're going to thrust it up. All right? Down and up. Down and up. Since we're doing each side, we're going to do 10 on each side, not 15. Okay? Here we go. Down and up. Thrust it up. Nine and ten. Whew. Other side. Nice firm grip on the handle. Down and up. Inhale when you go down. Exhale when you come up. One more. Whew. Oh, they're tough. Great job. This next move, I think I just like the name of it, <laughs> but either way, it's called the bob and weave. So we'll do 10 on each side. Nice firm grip on the handles. You can go down and up. Down and up. Bob and weave. And 10 on each side. Here we go. One. Two, three, Whew. it's crazy how much of a difference this little guy can make. Three, two, and one. Nice work. This next move is probably the most popular move for the kettlebell. I'm sure you've seen people do it in the gym, on TV, whatever. It's like the only move you ever see people doing with the kettlebell. It's called the two-handed swing. So you want a nice straight back. Get those shoulder blades down. <clears throat> Engage that core. You can bend at the knee and you're going to go through the legs, straight back, bent knees, and up. Down and up. What I need you to know is the power does not come from your arms. The power comes from your hips. So you're going to thrust, <laughs> thrust them up and use the momentum from that to swing the kettlebell forward. All right. We're going to do 15. Here we go. Those glutes should be tightened every time. Squeeze. Two more. One more. Nice work. Grab that mat if you want it. We're going to get down on the floor. All right, the next move that we're going to do is called the sit and press. I'm going to show you two versions of it. You decide at home which one you want to do. You're going to be grabbing it but near the base of the ball, right here, okay? You're gonna lay down, and then the first version is really just to sit. So you can either take it from here and go like this, and that's the sit part, or you can do the sit and press, which you'll go sit and press, and you bring it on up above your head, okay? Try and keep those legs straight, and we're gonna do 15 of these. Again, you decide if you wanna take the ball way up with the press, or if you just wanna do the sit, okay? Here we go. One, two, exhale when you come up, about halfway. Ugh. 
Doing all right, you breathing? Three more. Three. Two, last one. And one. Whew. All right, last move. This next move is a reverse lunge with the kettlebell. Just adds a little weight. One of my favorite moves anyway because it engages your glutes, your legs, and your abdominals. Wonderful. So reverse lunge with the kettlebell looks like this. And back. And back. We're going to do 15 on each side, so 30 total. Last move of the workout, and today's workout has three sets. So you're going to want to rest and repeat, rest and repeat. Here we go. Back. And back. Get that back knee low. Great job, make sure you're breathing. Halfway. Two more. Last one. 30. All right, great job, guys. Those are all the moves I have for you today. There's three sets for today's workout. So you're gonna wanna rest, then repeat, rest, then repeat, and then cool down. Have a kick butt day, you earned it. Bye guys, see you later.